Here's problem one with a circle. It wants to know where on this equation the center is and where the radius is. And this is a very typical expression for a circle. Now a circle is always written. The form it gives you is they say it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals your radius value squared. There's your typical formula right there with h and k being the center of the circle. This being your x value, see how it's with the x, that's your x coordinate and that's your y coordinate. Whatever value being squared, that's your radius coordinate. So you notice here 25. Well, what number squared was 25? That was a 5 squared. So you and I know our radius was a 5 in this problem. As far as our center, it's simply, and remember this is minus h. So since it's minus 4, that means, okay, that's a 4. And it says minus 2. There's our k value right there of 2. So it's 4 comma 2. That's going to be our center. What I try to tell you all is look at this. Since it says minus 4, you're always going to do the opposite. It'll be a positive 4. Since it says minus 2, you'll just do the opposite of whatever you have there, which is then positive 2. So these values will always be the opposite of what's really right there. So if it says negative 2, you put positive 2. If it says negative 4, you put positive 4. There we have the center of this circle is at 4, 2. It has a radius of 5, and there's the equation for it, and we know where all the points are located.